So while we're sitting here talking, we're watching these queens kind of buzz around the area. How, I mean, there's one right there. How rare, too. <laughs> How rare is that? Just to be able to see these queens, I mean, you have to be at the right time of year, so you're only really going to see the queens in early spring when they emerge from their overwintering, and then this time of year when they're new, uh, queens emerging from the nest be, uh, as they're going to mate and then overwinter. So there's really only a set number of weeks, so it is phenomenal to be able to see them, and just seeing one, uh, as I already said, really makes you very ecstatic. So seeing all of these together and seeing them not just on flowers, which is where all of us are really seeing bees most of the time, seeing them in their nest environment and taking their very first flights of their lives is absolutely unbelievable. So how exciting is it for you to see those bees coming in and out? Oh, it warms my heart. It makes me, it's, it's awesome. It's, it's so, so magical. It's so amazing. We, we get so used to just seeing these plump little creatures on our flowers and you forget that there's a whole complex life cycle that's going on around us and under us that is so important for them. Um, you know, they're produced underground. It's all dark. So they're coming out to this bright world and really they're just getting used to their bodies, testing out their wings, learning, you know, just learning about their environment, their surroundings around them. So they're a lot of times they sit there for a while and kind of just um, take everything in. Uh, we'll see them sometimes, almost similar to, you could compare it to like a butterfly when they eat clothes, their wings need to get strengthened. They'll be, you know, flapping their wings around, kind of you'll hear them buzzing. And so they're just getting their wings strengthened up before they can do their first flight. Um, that's all the kind of stuff going on when they first emerge. Oh, I see one. And yeah. then you'll see them come back and forth like that to the nest and though we knew at the other site we saw one was yellower so we could kind of pick her out and follow her she'd go mix a flight five minutes away and then come back you know so they do a lot of that kind of stuff there's another one there's a that one's actually really Ooh, yellow right there 